Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mystery Arts Inc. Jacob Michaels. What what should I call this channel? What what should I do with this, guys? Come on, I need your help. Just comment down below. Should this be Mystery Arts Inc. Still, should this be just Jacob Michaels, who I am? Tell me, because I'm thinking more and more as I'm doing the personal branded stuff in my business. Maybe this should be for the YouTube channel as well. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting. But let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Today, if it isn't obvious, we are going to be talking about single-handed by illusionists power couple. <laughs> my my two dear friends, uh, uh, Gary and Clark and Dwayne Williams. And this is going to be a little bit different in a review. We're going to keep it brief and simple, simple and direct, just like the effect itself. Now, before we get into that, though, if you've been here before, welcome back. Please do like or, you know, like, comment down below on the video. It does help. Honestly, even if you just think I did a good job or you want to say, hey, I think you did a shit job, just say it down below. That does help with everything here on the channel. Um, feedback is great. If you're somebody that has been on here before or maybe you're new here and you haven't subscribed, if you're someone looking to grow in magic, mentalism, hypnotism, see special guests, get all kinds of special discounts and deals, like my brand new 50% off coupon I've got from PETA Magic. So if you wanted the PETA pad, the PETA watch, which I've recently done a review for, you can get that at 50% off using the link below or coupon code Jacob. Same with this particular effect. If you want to save 10% off, just use the coupon code Jacob Michaels, J A K O B M I C H A E L S, or use the link below to get your single handed or your and your entire ordered illusionist for 10% off. I do get a small kickback from all of these, but that helps fund the channel. But if you're looking to grow in these areas, I do highly suggest you do subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when all the new stuff's coming out because I'm doing my best to get more new stuff put out here more efficiently for us. But let's go into it today. So what's the big deal about single-handed? Well, single-handed is super interesting first off. It's not really something where you're paying for some remarkable method that's you know, unique and different. If you gauge your purchases and magic by, I want a method I've never seen before that's going to blow my mind, it's going to change the way I do, this is not for you. If you're looking for a performance piece, something that's going to engage, get people interested in who you are, help you win free drinks, win friends, influence people, look like the, bad, the best badass in the room in a lighthearted and very engaging way, this is for you. So some of you have been wondering, let's go ahead and look at the the, the hype first off. Um, so I've been paying attention to this on the cafe. I've purposely taken some time to digest this whole thing. If we look at the page itself, we have an awesome, obviously, uh, 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 trailer like we always do, talking about what this is and what this isn't. And in the trailer and in the, in the information, you'll see it uses a certain special deck that we all probably have. I will not be telling you what this deck is. You are going to have to, uh, you know, climb that pole yourself. But that being said, this uh, you probably have one of these, and this is the actual one that Illusion is sent. I went ahead and bought the gimmick deck and method uh, package on here, and I did buy this. I didn't, you know, this is my own money spent on this, my own thirty dollars spent on this particular effect, and I really feel like it paid off already. I mean, what it takes performing this probably three or four times and out and about and getting any more in the states just like three beers bought for you to basically make your money back you know if you want to take that approach or if you use this actually how you should as a professional performer it can get you lots of lots of payback uh, in the sense of getting gigs and stuff it's such a great effect it's just so simple now there are ways to do it without the gimmick deck they're not really covered, per se, in the video, but you can figure them out. And I've figured out a few methods, but this is, the gimmick deck method is the best. And there's a lot of different variations covered in the actual project itself. And if you're watching this and you're clueless, like, what is the actual effect? I don't understand. What's the effect? What, what, wait, what's, what, what do I, what do I get here? You know, it's, um, <laughs> what you're basically getting is the uh, ability to have a card you know, found one-handed, you, with one hand behind your back, you have them select a card with one hand, you cut it into the deck, they take the deck and shuffle, you take it back one-handed, you shoot it out of the deck, oh, it's the, not the right one, and you go, ah, oh, well, this is why I never do tricks with only, with only one hand, I always use two, and you turn around, and you've got their card right here, and that can be a signed card, all kinds of stuff, there's TV clean versions of this, you know, as you'll kind of see, and if we look at the back end, 
I'll show you. We've got kind of our intro here where G just tells what this is and everything. You know, going over the method, the main method right here, the basic routine itself. Um, as you can kind of get a get a view for here, it's shot in a very nice environment. We're used to this with Illusionist, great sound quality, great picture quality. The Dwayne really puts his heart and soul into making sure things look squeaky clean and good over there at Illusionist, which is why I love working with them. Um, you know, you've got your basic routine in the studio performance done on Yannick, who is hilarious. And if you want to see some more performances of this, you can either just watch the trailer or watch like the 15 minutes of street mind blowing street magic they filmed on the streets of Dublin on St. Patrick's Day, which is why this thing came to exist. This came to exist because G was basically trying to come up with something for Blackpool. And he came up with this thing, this kind of a gag. He realized the power of the hook in this gag and took that out, turned it into an actual effect. And then that slowly evolved with Dwayne's influence in here too, into single-handed. And then they took this out on the streets of Dublin, Ireland. They killed it with it all night long, the team did. And then they said, you know what? We've got performance footage of this. We might as well record. We, we've got the space rented out. We might as well record an explanation for it too, covering the different methods we've come up with. And here we are. And this is why we've got this. So it's a really good worker's routine. This isn't a pipe dream. This isn't a psychological force. It's just a simple and direct killer method that's going to blow your people's skulls wide open. And get your free drinks, win your friends, influence, all that crap that comes with being a really well, uh, really well liked person and magician with something to showcase. Um, but there's a lot of different versions in here. Like this version is the one I like this version a lot, the NSFW version. I can't remember what the acronym stands for, but essentially what you do in it is you're going to basically show them a message when that card comes shooting out of the deck that isn't theirs and it says, oh, behind my back or whatever you want and then turn around and there it is. It's stellar. I love the variations taught in here. Um, it's such a simple effect. I mean, you got a deck, you got a deck vanish version of it too, which I think is really cool. Very James Brownian kind of deck vanish. Uh, for those of you that want had a visual flair to this, you could also incorporate in something like um, my friend Justin Miller's um, Vanish gimmick, which is still, I think, the, the best vanishing deck out there. This thing is killer. I keep my... I've got one broken gimmick. I keep my gimmick in here nice and fresh, ready for only ready for uses when I want to bring it out to special occasions. But that works good with this too if you want to have a little more visual punch instead of the surprise punch you get uh, sort of like uh, in he, they do in here. But moral of the story, you're getting a really killer effect here. And you're not paying for the method. You're not paying for a gimmick deck that does all this hibbity-bibbity BS crap. What you're really paying for above anything else is the hook. And this is a strong hook inside of this particular effect. I'm going to do a trick one-handed. Huge, great hook. Do it. It feels impossible. Boom, surprise ending. Ah, there you go. So the hook, the interest peak, the delivery of values, what I call it, where the effect, the that, and then the call to action, basically get them to do whatever they want next. So the tagline is all provided in here. So you're basically getting a... Built for you performance piece that's super killer and going to absolutely destroy your audiences. So if you're on the fence about this, get off of it because your butt's going to hurt first off. Second, if you uh, are somebody that's unsure, like, do I have this gimmick deck in my collection? I guarantee you have a version of this gimmick deck in your collection if you're not using it already. I know I did, but I just bought this one because I wanted to make sure I had exactly what was needed. Um... Get the $30 version if you're unsure. You know, I'm pretty sure most of you watching this video might have an idea of what gimmick deck is used. Um, you know, and you can get the method, just the video method version of it for it, if that's the case too. The deck, again, of provided by Illusionist is going to be a bicycle deck with this classical back to it, which I love when I get the ones that have the classic back versus the ones we're used to with the tin and the, like you see in a lot of stores now, which those are great. I have a great effect with those maybe i'll share someday but all in all i would say if you're on the fence on this just pick it up it's a great effect you'll use it you'll take it out and have a great time with it um if you don't want to you know have a gimmick deck you don't want to carry out the idea of carrying around a gimmick deck with you which i'm one of those people you can easily just take the hook and everything inside of that and transfer that into 
a pure sleight of hand version with a little bit more compromise and get a similar effect, which is kind of what I've done too. So all that being said, really cool effect here. Love what they've done. Love the thinking. Love the uh, reasoning for its existence as well. And I highly recommend you pick it up. And if you want 10% off your entire order Delusionist, obviously, just go down below and you can use the link below or coupon code J-A-K-O-B. M-I-C-H-E-L-S, that's Jacob Michaels, and you will get that 10% off your entire order, which will pretty much take care of your shipping, and, uh, you know, if you have free shipping on it, then it takes care of a lot more, but all that being said, appreciate your time, look forward to seeing you in the next one, y'all have a good one, cheers.